book of Matthew. The book of Matthew. As we're turning to Matthew, I just want to remind you that our confession of faith is usually what we believe, what we uh, hold fast to. And the word says, hold fast to your confession of faith without wavering, for he yes. is faithful that promised. Amen. You know, you may have had people fail in their promises to you in times past, but God never fails. Yep. Yes. He keeps his word. He keeps his promise. If he's declared it, if he says it, then you have something that you can hold on to and hold fast to. Yes. And as you meditate that promise, and as you ponder on that promise, and as you speak out that promise, your faith grows and increases. And it causes you to be able to stand more steadfast on that promise that he gave to you. And the thing is, this Bible is loaded with promises okay. that he says belongs to you and I because of who we are. We're his children. We're his people. Hallelujah. The sheep of his pasture. Yes. And so he takes care of his, his sheep and his children. But if you don't know what the promise is, it's difficult for you to hold fast to something that you're ignorant right. of. Right. So you can you have maybe have heard maybe somebody else tell you a promise, but still it's not enough. Mm -hmm. Because you need to hear it for yourself and you need to see it for yourself. You have a more confidence in when you see it for your own self with your own eyes and you hear with your own ears instead of having somebody in a second party or third party tell you what they've heard. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. So this is one of the reasons why we get into the Word of God so we can know what His promises are to, to us and His instructions to obtain those promises because they all have instructions. Remember the word if? Mm -hmm. yeah. If we are willing and obedient, yes. we shall eat the good of the land. Mm -hmm. So if is instructions followed i if f followed if instructions followed we shall eat the good of the land praise god so he gives us instructions for all these benefits that he provides for us and praise god that through jesus christ because of what jesus did we have that doorway to step into those promises hallelujah because without it we don't have a promise it's his blood that was shed for you and I. His life that was uh, given for our sins, paying the price for our wrong that causes us now to have access to the promises of God and a covenant of God. And we found out the covenant is a contract, which is his word to you and I. There's an Old Testament or Old Covenant and a New Testament, New Covenant. It's a contract between you and I that belongs to us because of Jesus Christ and what he's purchased for us. And now we are joint heirs with him. We have an inheritance. Say inheritance. Inheritance. And so sometimes if you don't know what belongs to you, then you cannot receive the best of what is yours. And, you know, in every contract that we have, I've shared about this before, there's a lot of fine print. And we, we don't like to read fine print. And other times we don't understand the fine print. We need somebody that knows the lingo of that fine print, we need a lawyer or whatever, to interpret it to us. And then we have to trust them that because of their expertise and the field that they're in, that they're giving us in our language what this con that contract fine print is describing. Anybody know what I'm talking about? We do that always. Sometimes we just sign the contract just hoping it's good. And we don't really read the little details in it because it's just too lengthy or you get lost in the first paragraph, you're gone. I don't know about you, but it happens to me. That's right. Amen? That's right. So Amen. this contract has a lot of fine print too. Amen? Amen. There's no way we're going to read this in one day and, and understand all that's in the contract that God gave to us. So he provides experts that he provides, that he anoints. By his spirit, the Holy Spirit who wrote this contract. Yes. The men of God that was inspired by the Spirit of God wrote this contract. And so now he, he 
gave us gifts to the church, some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers, it says for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the building up of the body of Christ that interprets and shares by his spirit that wrote this contract yeah. with you in your language which you can understand what he is describing so you can begin to walk in the contract that God gave to you. Isn't God good? Amen. 